To really turbocharge React Native development for me, I use Visual Studio Code with a few extensions added to it. And I'll go over two here, but I'll have the full list of extensions available in the uh, actual full course lesson. So if you're watching this just on YouTube, uh, click the link, which will bring you to the actual lesson, which will give you the full list of uh, extensions that I actually use in VS Code. So looking at the two React Native ones, uh, what I'm going to search for is React Native Tools. And React Native Tools, uh, it does a bunch of stuff for you, but the one feature that I really like, that I mostly use it for, uh, is this IntelliSense in integration. So uh, I've actually installed this already and done everything in my editor to set it up. But what I can do now is, uh, you can see here we've got Style Sheet, which is coming from React Native. It'll actually go ahead and tell me about what's available on that Style Sheet object. So I can say Style Sheet dot Absolute Fit, Absolute Fill, Absolute Fill Object. Uh, create, flatten, these are all things that are available to us on the style sheet. And by installing this React Native Tools extension, it's just making all that quickly and easily available to us. So the other package I've got is this React Native slash React slash Redux snippets for ES6 slash ES7. And that's going to give you a whole bunch of different just short codes or different snippets that you can type to do a bunch of stuff that you would typically do. So going back to my app.js, what we can see, we'll just go through a few of these. Uh, we can just go and type, you know, we've got our whole component and we can call this component app. Uh, it extends component. We can go ahead and import React and the component like that by just saying IMRC or uh, for React Native Development, we can say IMRN, IMRN, uh, and then you can press tab and then you can import whatever you actually need to there. If you're using extend style sheets as well, there's a nice snippet there. Uh, basically, this is a nice way to just save typing on some things that you're going to do a lot. So I def definitely suggest checking out uh, React Native React Redux snippets. Um, there's a lot here. I don't know all of them. I just use a handful of them. It'll likely be the same case for you, but it certainly saves some time once I use the ones that I'm you know, typically using most of the time. And again, if you want to see my full VS Code, or Visual Studio Code configuration, check out the lesson where I'll have a link of all the descriptions and where you can actually download and use my exact configuration if you want to go that route.